Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be talking about a new OR helper method for the query relationship that has been added to the Laravel version 8.57.0. So you'll be able to use it from this version and beyond. And it is implemented by Dark Coast Hunter. And I'll be adding the link of this pull request just below that like button as well. And this method is just a sugar for whereas method, which is as mentioned by the Dark Coast Hunter. So let's see how we had to do it before and how we can do it now. Let me show you here in the database. I have users over here and I have articles and a user can have many articles. For now, we have only two users that have articles. For now, you can see here user with the ID of one and two and is active is zero for these two and all the other posts have is active as one. Now let's say we want all the users that have at least one post as inactive. So let's see how we'll get that before. I'm here in the route gate and I'll do this in the web.psv file. And currently I'm here in this space. So it looks like this. So I'll just return the data from here. So we only want the users that have article as inactive. So we had to do before return user where has and we have to give the relationship name here. The relationship name is articles. And if I show you here in the user.psp, the relationship is like this, has many articles. And we have to pass a closer over here, like this. And here we'll receive the query, which is the query builder for this article. And we'll say here query where is active is zero, like this. And here we'll say get like this i have returned from here now here in the browser we can see these two users these two users have articles as inactive we had to do it in this way but if you look here in the new pull request we can just use this where relation like this so instead of where has we'll just use where relation like this and we'll just cut it from here and remove all this closer and paste it over here like this. So this function basically eliminates the closure part. Now in the browser, if I just go here and reload, we can see the same results. And this part after the articles will work similar to that of the where query builder method. So here is active, we can write is greater than zero. For now there is only zero and one, but just to show you, I'm just writing this greater than sign. So if the is active is greater than zero, then only show this. And here if I reload, then only user with the ID of one has the articles which are active. But in case of the user two, if I show you here in the database, so this user with the ID of two, if you go here on the right, so is active is zero and we don't have any other post with the user. So let's say if I change this to two like this and for this user, the is active is one. Now if I come here again and reload, then we can see both the users. So this has made the use of where has method a little bit, we can say simpler. 